Let's create a number pad in Blender. Add a cube and in edit mode, inset the top face, then move it up on the Z axis. When done, give your object a bevel modifier. Set the amount to 0.2 and set the segments to between 3 and 5. Be sure to also right click and shade smooth. Give your object an array modifier and set the count to 3. Duplicate the array, keep the count at 3, but set the X value to 0 and set the Y value to 1. Once done, apply all of your modifiers and in edit mode, select all of your mesh, press P and separate by loose parts. Select the corner piece, duplicate it and move it on the Y axis until it's in position. In edit mode, select one side of your mesh and move it on the X axis until it covers the width of two keys. Now select and duplicate this corner piece and again, move it on the Y axis until it's in position. Now duplicate the longer key, move it on the X axis and rotate it by 90 degrees on the Z axis. Again, move the key until it's aligned with the others and repeat this one more time for the key above it. For the top, select the three top keys, duplicate them and move them on the Y axis. Then select the corner key, duplicate and move it on the X axis to fill in the final space. Select all of your keys, go to Object, Set Origin, and set the origin to Geometry. After, press Shift S, choose Cursor to select it. Add a plane and scale it out. Adjust the edges so there's a distance between the edges of the plane and the keys, similar to what you see here. When done, select the top face, press I to inset it, and bring the edges to lie just outside of the perimeter of the keys. You may need to adjust the scale of the center plane to ensure it surrounds it well. Move the plane down and snap it to the bottom of the keys. In edit mode, select the outer faces of the plane and extrude them upwards. Add two loop cuts through the center of the base and move the front face it created outwards on the Y axis. You can also select the back two edges and give them a slight bevel. When done, apply the scale and give your object a bevel modifier. Set the amount to 0.25 and set the segments to between 3 and 5. Also, right click and shade smooth when you're done. Press Shift A and add text. Type the letter of the key you want. Go to the data properties, open the geometry tab and set the extrusion value to 0.01. Align the text with the center of your key, and then continue to do this for the remaining text of your number pad. Add a cylinder to the front of your model and rotate it by 90 degrees on the x-axis. Then scale it down and ensure it's connected with the mesh of your model. In edit mode, select the front face, inset the face, and extrude it inwards. Finally, right-click and shade it auto-smooth. Add a bezier curve in edit mode. Press SY0 to straighten it, then rotate it by 90 degrees on the Z axis. Next, move and extrude the outer vertex and begin to form the curvature your wire will follow. Try to make the curvature as natural flowing as possible, avoiding any sharp points or turns. When happy, go to the data properties, then under the geometry tab, increase the depth to that of one similar to a wire and relative to your model. You may need to adjust your initial curve point to ensure it's still properly positioned inside your cylinder. For a USB port, add a cube and scale it down on the Z axis. In edit mode, select one face, inset it slightly and extrude it back, then inset slightly again and extrude forward, inset again for a final time and extrude back again. If you desire more geometry, you can add a subdivision surface modifier and use loop cuts to define any of the edges. Add two scaled down cubes, ensuring they only pass through one side of the port. Then give the port a Boolean modifier set to the cubes you created and apply all your modifiers when done. Select the back center of your port, press Shift S and move cursor to selected. Then go to Object, Set Origin and set it to the 3D cursor. Now move the port to the end of the wire and scale and rotate it as necessary to your model. Add a UV sphere and in edit mode, select one half of it and delete. Move the half sphere to the top of your model, then duplicate it twice and slide them over to the other side. Open up a shader editor tab, select your base and give it a new material. Set the color to black, set the metallic to 0.4 and set the roughness to 0.3. Select all of your keys, the cylinder, the wire, the US port, and select the base last, then press Ctrl L and select Link Materials. For the USB port, select all the faces that you want to have a shiny material. Then go to the Material Properties, press the plus button, select New, and hit Assign. Then give it a gray color, set the metallic to 0.7, and the roughness to 0.25. 
Select your half sphere, give it a new material, and delete the principal BSTF. Add an emission node and connect it to the material output. Then select a color of your liking, as well as your desired strength of the emission. Now, just a quick note. Is there something that's ever caused you hours of headache in Blender? Whether it's a specific tool you're mm -hmm. looking for, or a solution to mm -hmm. a basic problem. I got you covered. Sign up to my completely free newsletter, the link is in the description. Receive a weekly Blender tip that could save you indefinite hassle. Sent to you weekly. See you and thanks for watching.